It's a big factor. I think yeah. I watch it particularly with Morocco. You know, Morocco have always been very talented, always been a side. When you, when you go to a Cup of Nations, Morocco is always one of the favourites, yeah. always fraught. Why? They've had a succession of coaches, now that I think back on it, a succession of coaches who really don't know the culture, who don't have empathy with the players, uh, who come in a bit of a dictatorial, dictatorial fashion and just don't have the man management skills that you need. And you can see now they've got one of their own, former player, he was in the team in 2004 when they got to the final of the Cup of Nations. Uh, he's come through the club structures, won the Champions League with Widad. He loves them, they love him. Mm. There seems to be a whole different vibe there and they're producing. Yeah. And I think that's very true of African teams. You've got this, the day of the, you know, of importing the corporal from overseas to to bring a stick and lash the boys, it's gone. It's long gone. You know, it's uh, it's you need empathetic coaches, understanding. They've got to know the culture. They've got to know the players. They've got to read the. They've got to read the vibe. You know, and I think um, as as good as a lot of these European coaches are, and the extra strength that they might bring, that is a big thing that's missing in their armory.